Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi everyone. This is a video part 2 for chapter 5.3 on the subject finding method. So now let's we really check it out. As we learned previously, subject filing is a method of you classifying, coding and also do a filing records by the subject. So here, there are two basic arrangements commonly been used in the subject filing method. It's been divided into dictionary arrangement or by the using the encyclopedic arrangement. When we talk about dictionary arrangement, meaning that the records can be filed using the alphabetic order by the subject, at which we will use a subject folders by arranging behind the guides of A until Z, meaning that we are using the alphabetic order, meaning that A until Z as a guides. So it been put as in a sequence of alphabetic order, which is arranging from A until Z, like I mentioned just now, okay, for the arranging of the subject title. This arrangement also known as topical arrangement or the straight dictionary arrangement. And then this is advisable if you are using a records with a volume of not more than two file drawer. Why? Because we are using the alphabet A until Z as the volume of records increases, retrieval from a dictionary arrangement becomes very difficult. When the volume of the record is small, an index, which is also known as subject file list, is not needed because records are retrieved by direct access. As compared to the numeric and also geographic, especially for numeric, it's very difficult for you to have a direct access if you do not know the numbers for that particular individual. But for the subject, it's very easy since we know for the subjects of the file itself. In other words, we can say that the filers, which is the staff, can locate the records by referring directly to the captions on the cards and folders. However, a subject list is helpful when indexing and coding to ensure that correct subjects are assigned. As you can see on the screen, this is a portion of the dictionary subject file at which the first position or we call as a primary guide is being arranging or labeling with the alphabet with alphabet A, B, C, D, E and so on. So meanings here, the primary guides will use the alphabet for the caption. Meanwhile, for the third position folder or the out guide here, there will be used additionals with the full meanings of that particular alphabet. For example, alphabet A for the primary guides, it will be representing by third position folders A for accounting, B and the B caption for the primary guide, they have a two file and the B caption which is bank and also bills. Meanwhile, for the C, for the primary guide for C caption, they have a C constructions. So here we can say that the dictionary arrangement of record is actually begin with the alphabet for their primary guides. Meanwhile, for the third position folder, they will use the full uh, abbreviations, sorry, the full names for that particular alphabet. This is another example for dictionary arrangements of the records. Again, on the left side here, for the primary guides, they are using the letter or the alphabet. Meanwhile, on the third position folder, they are using their full 
name for that particular alphabet. This is the characteristic of the dictionary file arrangement. Like I mentioned previously, the primary guide labels will contain the letter A to Z in the alphabetic order. Okay, as you can see here, on the first position for the primary guide is only containing the letter, or we call the alphabet, in the sequence of A until Z. While for the special guide, is actually to identify the folder that we most frequently use. Next, general subject folder is actually will store the records that related to that particular subject title. That's why the captions on the general subject folders will include the alphabet letter and also the subject title. Okay? And the subject title are not subdivided. This is examples of general subject folder. For example, here, okay, for A, accounting. Under A, for the primary guide, there is a general folder for the accounting. That's why it been accommodated with the letter of A and with the names of accounting. Which means this is the subject title for that particular alphabet. What means by it's not been subdivided? For example, here A for A is then for accounting and it will not be chunked or subdivided into the other accounting in a small unit. Okay, it's different with the uh, it's different with the encyclopedia. There will be accounting for department A, accounting for department B. That is how uh, encyclopedic and dictionary is different. So for dictionary arrangement of the records, again, it will not be subdivided. Okay, the subject itself, it will not be chunked into the small element of the accounting. It's just put in a generals of accounting, meaning that any correspondent that related to the accounting will be placed under the accounting general folder. The second arrangement of subject filing method, we call it as the encyclopedic arrangement, at which the records may be filed in a subject filing system in an encyclopedic arrangement in which the primary subjects and also their subdivisions are arranged in alphabetical order, at which the records will be divided into the broad groups and then the subdivided into the more specific topic. As compared to dictionary arrangements, they are not being subdivided, they are put in a general subject. But here, they have a general subject, we call a broad groups, and then it being subdivided into the small specific topics or subject. That's why they have a main divisions, we call it as a primary subject headings, usually it will refer as a title or the topic. Meanwhile, for the secondary is referring as a secondary level headings and the most specific heading will be the third levels or we call it as a tertiary subject heading. So here there's a one example at which the main subdivisions for the primary is about the administration. For this, and this administration's uh, subject in being subdivided into building contract. And under building contract, it being subdivisions into a treasury level, we call it as a, we give it as a, a subdivisions of the warehouse. Another example, this is uh, examples of insurance. Okay, the insurance are the subdivided or we call it a more specific uh, topic for example like uh, the general one is the insurance but the specific topic will be on the fire insurance group life insurance health insurance and liability insurance the other examples is about the marketing subject for the marketing subject it been subdivided into advertising about the marketing and under advertising 
there is uh, elements of the specific topic on the budget for that particular advertising. So here, uh, this is the characteristic of the encyclopedic file arrangement. Like I mentioned just now, for the primary guide caption, they will put the name or the subject titles in the full. And then for the secondary guide caption, there are the subject name at which it in subdivisions of the general subject title. For example, like for your primary guide will be about the insurance. For the secondary guide will be life insurance, for example. And the folder captions include main subject title and the subdivision. So as you can see here, okay, in here, okay, there will be all the guide here, either is a primary guide, secondary guide, or treasury guide, and plus with the fourth position folder, okay, all the guide will use what we call it as a subject name on the that particular guide instead of using the letter. For the encyclopedic file arrangement guide, it is actually we call it as an indirect access system at which the filer or the staff may need to uh, refer to the index before they find the required. So this is the examples that I mentioned you, uh, I, that I show you just now. Okay, uh, all the guys will uh, return with the name of the subjects in full. Okay, for example, here about insurance just now I mentioned insurance. Their secondary card is about fire insurance. We have a group life insurance, we have health life insurance, we have liability insurance. Okay, so this will be called as a more a specific topic about the insurance. And the other examples there we have the treasury guide, which is about the marketing. The marketing um, subject is subdivided into advertising, and under advertising, there will be the detail out on the budget for example here okay as you can see here this is what mean by folder caption include main subject title and subdivision at which this is the file on the marketing okay which is advertising on the marketing advertising on the budget newspaper this one marketing advertising on the budget tv so there were more uh, the, the, uh, the, the folder is being chunk or the subject being chunk into more detailed element or units. So with given uh, explanation on the dictionary arrangement and also the encyclopedic arrangement, I hope you can see the difference between uh, both of it. Alright, so in the next video, we will continue on the coding part.